Okay, just another tutorial for Kingdom Come Deliverance Architect mod. I want to show you in this case how to build a rather complex um, house row in Ratai. So you are able to build um, these objects in a manner that is slightly complicated but in fact it's um, working pretty simple if you want to use it you will get a clue how to do it but I will show you a little tutorial so here you have the uh, large building uh, row so that's a row of different buildings but it's stick together and um, yeah it's containing a lot of parts so they start here with Spalisek 1 floor 0 1 it's object 521 uh, and you can see there are many many small parts so the rooms and uh, floors are uh, separate from each other uh, wall paintings and so on wooden casing and anything else so yeah um, when you want to build it um, you want to build it all in the same position so I've already uh, looked for a very flat area because it's a large building and you don't want to stick into the ground in some floors so you want to build it maybe on a on a very flat area because maybe you want to build a city <laughs> for yourself somewhere or i would recommend to use this to maybe have uh, fights or just i don't know some some reason to 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 stay inside this building so maybe if you want to make videos or you want to have uh, battles inside this building so this is very cool to you so um, yeah maybe just want to build a city but it's, it's a little bit complicated so we will start looking at the Spalisek exterior front so it's uh, object 528 and I will rotate it so you see this is the front this is the front section so but we will build all in one at the same spot where the cursor is where the reticle dot is the yellow point in the middle so I will get out of rotation mode and then you will see it's other way around so we would see the uh, the back side of this front yeah okay I, rotate, I ro rotate it again this is the front and if I rotate it it's the back side so I go out of rotation mode and it's the back side so I will line it up and uh, the best I can with the front um, front uh, it's not a road but it's a it will look like a road it's the f uh, it's the uh, it's a field but I will use it as a road so I will uh, now align it with the the grass in front of it so I will have this as my road in front of it yeah I will stick in this position now with my cursor because I want to build the, the object the whole bot objects uh, in this position so I will start not um, here but I will look okay this is the Spalisek wood 539 is the last object and then there come different objects but I will start not with this because this is in front of me if I want if I put this at first everything I build afterwards will stick in front of me on this wood and I don't want that I want a free view right through until I see my radical point on the ground so everything will be built exactly around this radical point and then 
the whole building will be put together in the same position. If I move my mouse around or I put this first, I will stick in front of it and the objects will look completely distorted. So I just show you this for the purpose of not doing this um, mistake. I will place this first. And now you see I'm hovering on the left side. I cannot build anything behind it. So I delete this again. Um, I go back to my position where I want it. So I look, okay, I want to build it here. And now I see, okay, there it's this barn part and the this barn part and this wooden casing will be in front. So I will put them at last. All right. So all the other objects leave the room with my view exactly to the reticle point. There's nothing between me and the reticle point now. And this is what I want to do. So I place all objects and they are um, described in part. Part one is starting here and then you go, oh, <laughs> it's called part 44. Yeah, it's part four. Um, sometimes some objects are not deletable, so yeah, be very careful. You cannot delete them afterwards. So maybe you will look at that, but you will, uh, to fully flesh out, to fully flex out the interiors, you will use, you will have to use them. So, uh, you won't, you, you will not have to see through any walls. You will have these also built. Okay. So. Now I do it. I start with part one. It's built. Part two, it's built. Part three is built. Part four is built. This is part four, actually. Okay, aha, okay, I see. Part four and part four B, maybe. It's built. So now we leave this part out first. We will build part six. Part seven, part eight, part nine, part 10, part 11, 12, 13, 14. Maybe put some straw here. It's part of the building also, part 15. Oh, no, we delete it again because as you will see, if I put this one here, the whole building will not Oh, I moved the mouse. So yeah, it's it will be probably deleted anyway. I will now put this casing here. Oh no, something's missing. What is missing? Ah, okay, this part is missing. So yeah, I will put this first because this is in front of me and then the barn at last. Okay, the barn will not be finished. So, okay, as you can see, this is, um, it's not finished because there is some other building, some exterior building here, and it's the barn. But you will not be able to build both parts without uh, getting your view blocked. And you need the view to build everything right in the same position. You need the, the right view to your reticle point where it is located on the floor on the same position. So you won't be able to build this wooden casing and the barn because one of these objects will then block your view, block your view to the reticle point so you cannot build the other part again. So now I built the whole town center here. And as you can see, when you don't move the mouse between building sections of the object, it will probably be 
where you want to have it. So yeah, sometimes this is um, it's just experimental mode. Yeah, there is no way to build it anywhere straight because in the whole world of Kingdom Come Deliverance, there is no completely flat area. Maybe you are so experienced in building that you will use some of the um, basement building parts or the base floor parts for building and uh, create a large area which is completely flat and then you build on, on top of it. It's completely up to you. Sometimes th um, otherwise you will have these areas which are a little bit uh, how you say wonky. So yeah. Uh, you could go down in the basement but um, unfortunately you cannot go down there now because yeah they will uh, um, not be there uh, the hole in the ground for getting into the basement but otherwise the whole building is now standing here you can use it you can fully decorate it yourself and um, you can use it as a uh, as uh, um, a location for battles. Yeah, you can use the cheat mode to spawn your NPCs. Probably, I will make a tutorial on that. And then you can use this whole area for battles, or you just can use it as a decoration only building as you can see um, okay I forgot to place the decals the wall paintings but it's not that important anyway building is completely built uh, you won't be able to have functional doors yet that's a little bit too complicated to achieve. There are a lot of things uh, which are um, pretty easy in the idea to implement into the mod, but unfortunately it's a lot of coding and it would be easier for the original producers of this game to release a fully functional construction mod as a program but that's maybe too much to ask so yeah that's just for the tutorial if you want to delete it you will be able to delete only a few of these objects so be careful where you want to build it if you look closely, I delete all the objects which are deletable. Everything else that stays there is not deletable because it has no collision. You can now walk through all these objects. And that's why I listed them in the architect mod as not deletable. So these are these objects right here. As you can see it's the same object and it's not deletable. So use it with caution and everything will be fine. So yeah, that was it. The tutorial how to build this little city place and stay tuned for other tutorials.